Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review. This account is another account. It's one of those accounts that stuck with getting fast dungeon teams. So it's getting right outside of probably early mid game and now wants to focus on getting speed teams so that they could expedite their improvement process and getting better runes, getting better builds overall. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to be that great in using swap probably because they just don't have the time or they're not tech savvy although you don't have to be tech savvy these days i'm pretty sure if you're fairly in the younger generation or if you're working in the tech field something like swap is going to be a piece of cake for you to pick up with also being a lot of tutorials on youtube but i also know that there are people that just don't have the time to do that so it takes a lot longer for them to pick that up or they just don't I had a friend like this, they just don't think that using swap is actually playing the game. They have a feeling where they have to use their own head, you know, go through the runes to figure out the best build, which I somewhat understand. But at the same time, I'm like, the benefit you get from swap is just too big. And also, they're technically still your runes. You're just leaving the computation to a computer. Tell me what you guys think. I think it was kind of like, eh, that's weird. But... I somewhat, I guess, will try to respect that and say you don't have to do it this way. Anyhow, what I want to go back to is that if you're having a hard time figuring out a speed team, I'll go back and look at tutorials because there is a reason why there are certain rules for speed teams. If those rules aren't met and these rules were figured out by a lot of these people that do testing to find the most optimal team with probably the least amount of rune quality that you need, I'm not one of them, I'm one of the followers, so I respect the people that actually put those tutorials up that they have figured out because I'm pretty sure they went through a lot of trial and error to get that. But if you can't do that even after watching those videos, I would just go back to the standard teams, use the Veramos. You know, sub one minute is still very, very fast compared to what it was a couple of years ago. I'm one of those OG players that played 10 years ago, 9 years ago, and I know how it was in the past. Guys, sub one minute is a blast. And to be fair, if you get something quicker than that, if you're not a spender, you're eventually going to run out of crystals and you'll just be sitting there. Although I have to admit, the game gives you a lot more energy now. So I'm pretty sure you could get a couple hundred to farm each day and a fast team for that, where you want to spend the least amount of time to get the most out of is the best. But like I said, going back to the main point, if you can't get a save team because you want to use all those energy to the best benefit, meaning not failing, I want you to go back to your very most team. It's something that I want to tell this account because he told me that he's having trouble with the best hard teams, with the fast teams. If you're having a hard time, go back to the basics. Just run it with Vero. Do your R5. Maybe grinds is what you're missing. We're going to go into swap again on this account to see the rune quality. We'll see how many 110% efficient runes he has, 100% efficient runes he has. And depending on that number, we will know that he is definitely lacking here on grinds and also in speed or just efficiency all around. Best record in arena is F3. World arena is F3. He is doing Toa, so that's great. He has been playing for a little over three years or a little less than three years, actually. He is doing all the dungeons from paper and they actually don't look too slow. A minute, a minute, a minute. That's actually decently fast. It's just that it's not safe, is what he's saying. Unless this is the safe team, which I doubt because the speed teams are usually faster. So let's go check those as well. He's doing his Abyss hards for his artifacts. So that's great too. And then he does have a solo R5 team, which I recommend highly that you work on. He said what he wants to focus on is runes he also wants to know what he should keep and what he should what he should sell that's very very dependent on your current level in the game because for a player like me i am a lot more strict on the runes that i keep but that shouldn't be the same thing for you especially if you're an f3 let's take a look at the collection from the net fives that i saw it looks like he already has a decent amount but he is missing Velodrill, fire monkey so rt is going to be a little less fun if you're on the climb he doesn't have Rika, which is somewhat big. Mm, other than that, I think that's fine. Yeah, Masha is decent. decent. Uh, no Carnal. No Fire Baic. There are some things that he's lacking, but, but definitely something you can still play with in RTA. 
for arena defense you have vanessa you have juno you have rakan they're all good so yeah nothing much to say there you also have the john which could be a part of the bombing team you have hey you have okay no hey gang but you have miles nana no abelio no more you have Camila, that's great. Although Camila kind of died out in RTA, I think for arena defense, it's still used immensely. Um, no, no Chandra. Chandra's pretty big for RTA. You have some math, so a 33 lead is there too. For wind, no Pyeongchar. I think that's fine for arena defense. I think Pyeongchar kind of died out. Uh, I see it a lot, but it's definitely a lot easier to cleave after it got nerfed, so... I won't say that's a huge loss, but for Siege, I think still it's pretty big, especially if you're in the lower ranks. Um, no Smicer. Do you have Sierra? Oh, you have, okay, you have Christina, that's great, but no Leo! Whoa, okay. That's huge. You have Kiana, though. You have, oh, no Sierra, so Bomb Team is actually out of the window, too. A lot of things you're missing for Arena offense other than Tiana. Finding a decent AO is going to be difficult. I didn't think you have Chiu either. Do you have Leah? No Leah. No light dark. No light nat five and no dark nat five. But you do have Debra. Tiana Debra team can work, but your AOE damage dealer without even punk back. Man, this is gonna be a hard one. It's gonna be a hard one. I'm not gonna look at runes. Let's first go back. Let's first go into arena. Looks like you didn't do rush. Best record, F3 with a very good defense rate, 47%. That's actually really, really good. I don't know how old this is, but that's a decent record. But I don't know, it could be years ago. For defense, these days, I'll probably add the Camila. Especially with what you have. I'll probably add the Juno so you can't get dotted. Oh, okay. That's actually a very good unit for defense. I didn't see that. Sorry, I'm blind. And Juno. I'll just do this. I think you'll be totally fine. And then for Arena Offense. Seeing that you're not using Tiana. Damn. I guess you don't really like Tiana. Or you don't know a team to go with Tiana. Well, you have Poseidon. So you definitely have a team. But sadly, this is the only team that I really see. Because you don't have Leo, so you can't go a second turn team. Well, you can, but it's very, very scuffed, I think, especially in today's meta. So you would make that, and you can go a second turn team with the same stuff that I still build. You could go with Christina, you can go for Delphoi. It looks like you don't have it built, so please build Delphoi. You just really need a stripper. Ah oh, man, without Leo, it's hard though. Because you're going to get pushed back, you're going to get stunned. Um, maybe you could still go into Clara's if you take in like Amelia. Or even Alaya. Because there are water units, they are prone to not get stunned. But even that, it looks like you don't have Alaya or Amelia. You could do this. I mean, I don't like the team. I probably wouldn't do it, but Delphoi will go here and another second turn Galleon. That's what I will do if you really want a second turn team. But right now, I don't think it's that great with what you currently have. So probably just go with this team and see how far you could go. And then a Lucian team like you've created. Like you're running a couple of Lucian teams. I don't think they're great. Lucian is very, very hard to use as you climb. Because everything is like Lucian proof as there are Camillas, there's Pyong Chars. There's going to be things left over that's going to be hard to kill. And things like Pyong Char, if they're low health, they just destroy your cleave team because they're so squishy. So I don't really know. Maybe you have a one-shot comp that you could go with. I know you had Jameer. I saw it. So let's not ignore that because you had Bustet too. You didn't have Sonya, which is the problem. But you could go a one-shot type of team. Maybe you will need another ignore defense unit, which could be like Kali, Odin. With what you currently have, it looks like Kali is the best bet. You could go speed lead. Or you could go with crit rate lead. Well, that's fire crit rate lead, though. Does this guy have a... This is... Okay, okay, 21% crit rate. At least it's universal. You could go with that. 
so you could get more damage overall. So those are the two offenses I'll run, but other than that, I really don't see what you could do. For RTA, definitely just a small team. You're not even playing. Uh, you have a big box, which I don't think you could support with your current rune quality. Well, you could support it because you could just slap on any runes, but a good team is what I want to use. And also looking at skill ups, there are a lot of things that I'll take out. One, oh, Miles is a really good unit for low, for low rune quality, but kind of sucks no skill ups. So one, two, three, four, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At least nine units that's just going out of the window because there are no skill ups. But if I had to pick, assuming that they're all skilled up, as a player that doesn't have great rune quality, low rune quality right now probably play with something like this yeah with low rune quality uh it's very hard to use oliver uh, but let's leave it for now because you do have a certain number of strippers then here we should add a couple of fast units which should be like escher and also maybe the wind robo because that's a good unit to have if you could support it with the fast swift set something like this is what i'll run that's still 20 units if anything get rid of like five but i think this is more than enough for you to get c1 i think this is a balanced team where you can go first second pivot a lot of stuff hey guys we are now in swap so that we could see his rune quality i hope that you guys like this format a little better as it now just looks at the efficiency of your runes and not just speed as a lot of people as a lot of people were not happy about so Let's see first of all how many runes he has. He has 2,100 runes. We're gonna only look at six stars and level, I guess up to 12, right? That's understandable. With that, he has 1,400 runes. So there's a lot of runes that's either not powered up or he's still using a lot of five-star runes, which I do recommend that you try to get rid of most of them as they're gonna be overly less efficient than the six-star runes. However, if they have a lot of speed, I kind of understand. Now let's look at efficiency. Out of the 1,400 runes, how many runes have over 110% efficiency? Boom! Three runes, guys! <laughs> three runes! Okay, it looks like at least they're mostly all max grinded. This is missing one speed. Okay, three runes. That's not even a percent. Sorry, I, I was wrong. Also, this is 0.002% of his runes is over 110% efficiency. Okay, let's look at 100. 100 to 110. With that, 50 runes. Okay, okay, 50 runes. That 0.03% of his runes is over 100% efficiency. And how many of that is fast? Okay, there's a decent amount. There's like 10 over 20. I don't, know if, I don't know if that's decent. Even here, you can see that there's like plus threes, plus threes, uh, plus six, plus six. I know it's a little of a hassle to get that 1%, but that's what people start doing. They chase for that 1%. But even that's not it, right? There's five here. So you could add 2% here, another 2% here, another 2% there. There is room for improvement with these runes. A lot, actually. Let's see how many are violent runes. Let's not be too strict. Let's go down to 90 because if you can grind a 90% rune well enough, it could easily go over 100%. So let's look at 90 to 110. He has 43 90 to 110 efficient runes. And with that, there is a fast rune, 26 speed right there on a crit damage slot four. Um, it looks like there is no gem. So it could even be better. And you could still get like 1% here. I would probably get rid of this for flat HP or enough. Uh, sorry, I'll get rid of this for HP percent, but that's just me. And then the next is like 20s, 18, 16, 15. But I think my plan for this account stays the same. I would focus on grinds and jams, especially with these runes here, because this these are your decent runes. To be fair, these are your decent runes. You have 43 decent runes. Ignoring the slots, divided by four, you can make 10 units with 
plus efficiency. Now, that's not going to be exact because I'm pretty sure you'll have certain slots more than other slots. But I'm just giving you a gist of it. 90% is not too shabby, but that's 10 units. And for RTA, people tend to pick 15, 20, 25 units. Now, not all units are on violence, so 10 can work if you are only ruining 15 to 20 units as 10 is going to be 50% of your box. But seeing this and seeing these grinds, 4, 5, you know, I see it here and there. Even for speed, I see a lot of plus 3s, plus 2s, not even grinded. There's a lot of work to do here. I will work on grinds and gems. Um, and seeing the speed of it as well, maybe you should still work on Dragon Runes, DB12, DB of his heart, but we will check out the others as well. Let's take a look at Will, and then we'll take a look at Swift and Despair as that's Chibi or Giants. So Will, he has 21 runes. Same issue, plus threes, plus threes, no grinds at all. A lot of work to do. How many have 100 plus three runes here that have 100 plus efficiency? So 20 runes, actually, again, if you divide it by two, is 10 units. Violent Will, 10 units on Violent Will. I mean, this is just, you know, rough estimating, but around that. I'm pretty sure it's less than that. It's probably more like seven units, again, due to certain slots having more runes than others, but we could, we could see the gist of it. And we can see that there's a lot of work to do here as well. So some of these runes have no grinds at all. So these are candidates that could go up to 100% plus. Now let's go to, oh, let's see how fast they are. 24, five runes, that's over 20. Not too quick, right? Swift, 27 runes over 90% speed wise. Oh, not too quick, only four over 20. And this one, the quickest one, 23 has a plus three. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of runes here that needs these grinds and gems. You see these runes here, or see, see these stats here that are not grinded at all, so. I mean, you don't have to agree on the fact that I think he needs to work on R5, but just from this, I think he should. I mean, we're, we're only looking at Violent, Swift, Despair, Will, but if these runes are missing grinds and gems, we could guess that the other runes are probably missing some as well. Yes, the Violent runes, the Will runes are more harder, are harder to get for grinds and gems. However, I think it's a good indicator um, if these are missing so many grinds and gems. The others can't be doing that great. Finally, let's look at Despair. So Swift was a little slow. So I think if this is going to be slow, I think I'll focus on Giants for a while. Ooh, okay. Wait, over 100%. One rune over 100%. But there's a lot of juicy runes here. Like this one here, 22 speed, no grinds. That's a bummer. That's a big bummer. No gem. This has a lot of potential. Same with this one. No gem, I believe, on this slot 5. A lot of potential here. Not the quickest, but there's two good runes. There's 30 runes here that are over 90% efficient. So technically like seven, seven units that could be ruined on despair. Oh, technically probably like five again, if you take out like two due to disproportionate slots. So yeah, with all of these, you can make 15 units on, on a build that has 90% efficiency. Now I'm again, oversimplifying things because it doesn't mean that you will get the stats that you want with these runes there is a good chance you will because if they're more efficient they're more stat heavy however there's also the aspect of speed they can't be too slow on certain units so if speed is a criteria if it's a condition that you have to meet i'm pretty sure the number of builds that you could get is going to be a lot smaller i'm just saying efficiency wise you can make like 10 to 20 units however if speed comes into play that efficiency might drop as you'll have to sacrifice other stats that are making these runes so efficient just for speed but seeing all of these seeing all these 90 percent efficient runes are lacking grinds and gems i think he needs to work on raid and r5 looking at the speed i still think gb abyss hard is going to be a priority for him or if he wants to get into siege and arena well even for arena i do prefer having a fast unit in the defense right now you don't 
So if you do want to add a fast unit like Clara or Triton, if you had it, then yes, I'll continue focusing on Swift because you don't have a lot of fast Swift sets, meaning that you're not going to have a lot, a whole lot to share around, especially if you're playing in Siege as well for Siege offense, Siege defense, so on and so forth. Giants will be a priority, but if you want to go, you know, tanky second turn type of team, even for your Siege defenses, then Violent and a little more of Necro is what I will recommend. All together, Despair, Will, Violent, and Swift, or Intangible as well, right? Because that could be any Swift. And we look at everything over 100%. We could just see that he has a lot to work on, as in these five main sets, he only has 13 runes that are over 100%. Out of 1,400 runes, right? Well, it's filtering 2,163, but we know that the plus 12 runes and 6 star runes, there's 1,400 from the beginning. So that's that's 0.009%. So if you even round that up, that's 0.01% of his runes are over 100% efficiency. <sighs> so he needs to work on grinds. He needs to work on dungeons. It's just a given fact. Going all back to his request on wanting better dungeon teams if he gets these runes okay let's look at some damage damage dealing stuff but the damage runes fatal blade will doesn't really care about efficiency too much since you're really just looking for full-on damage but it does give you a good indication on why he might be lacking it he has 11 runes that's over 100 percent efficiency with some with decent speed if he improves these these 90% runes, 80 to 90% runes, and give it the grands and gems. I'm pretty sure the builds that he's going to be getting to get these speed teams are going to be a lot easier. So please work on these. Like even here, I see a whole lot of things that are not grinded, not gemmed. Plus two, plus two, plus three, you know, um, plus five. Let's look at efficiency wise. Even these, even these highest efficient runes, this has a plus two, right? It can even get better. Uh, this has a plus six, plus five, and these are damage, attack percent. So you know that you're lacking. Even here, this is 15 with a seven. So we know that the gem is an eight. That's a blue gem, not even max. If you could get a hero gem, 11, and put in a seven, you're getting 3% more attack. Some people say that's small, but trust me, it's not small. If you get those additional percentage in each rune, there's six of them. Well, actually, you can't get it for slot six because that's attack as well. So there's five of them. That's a total of 15 additional percentage. That's a lot. So guys, please work on maxing your runes, grinding and jamming them, make them more efficient as it will make your account more efficient. That was it for this review, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want account reviews like this, please join my Patreon and send me a Discord message with your Patreon name. If you guys want account improvements, then please join my Discord, fill out the Google form. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.